Um, now, Vault is used for storing secrets that your GitOps doesn't need to know ahead of time. Um, it'll reference uh, secrets by name in the Vault and create other secrets for your application. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, first, probably need to put these instructions side by side. So I'm going to take these instructions and put them right here. All right, and then we can follow along. So we've set up a vault. Uh, we've vault is running. Now we need to set up a new vault. So it says visit the vault here, set up a new vault and keep track of the initial root token and the vault keys. We're going to say, actually, we're going to look at some different instructions because I just submitted a pull request that's not merged yet that has the updated instructions and they are in here. But hopefully by the time of the hackathon, this will be merged. <laughs> so I say view file and follow along right here. So we visit vault, we create a new raft cluster, create a new raft cluster next. Key shares, I'm going to set it to one. You can make it more secure if you want. And a threshold of one. And then click initialize. All right. Vault has been initialized. Here's your new key. Set up a new vault and keep track of the initial root tokens. So I'm gonna copy this and what I'm gonna do is keep track of it in my password safe. We need to go to uh, OpenShift local, initial root token, edit this and paste it in here. Okay, and then the next step, we'll copy the key number one and edit this login and paste it in here. Save that. And then we're good to go. So then we will continue to unseal when asked to un for the unseal key portion, enter the key one password. So I'm going to copy that to the clipboard and paste it here. Unseal. And now it asks to sign into Vault. Then we enter the initial root token. So I copy that to the clipboard and paste that here. And then we're in. We got into the Vault. How cool is that? <laughs> All right. So you can do this more secure, but this is for local testing. Let us enable a new engine. We'll do generic KV. And then next. And I'm going to set the path to be Fiware because we're going to deploy some secrets for a Fiware MongoDB. And then click Enable Engine. Good, here's our Fiware 
vault secrets. And then we need to set up a read policy now. In the vault, click policies, click create ACL policy, and then I'm gonna paste this in here. So it has a path of slash fiware, which was our vault that we just created, slash data, slash star, capabilities equals read, because you gotta give it read access. And we're gonna reference this policy in other parts of this. But let me make sure this is created. Great, policy, let's see, one error occurred. Star unsupported operation. Oops, I gotta give it a name. <laughs> so the name is Vault Secret Reader. There we go. A policy, good. Now we have our Vault Secret Reader AC policy. Now we're gonna set up an access authentication method in Vault. So in Vault, click access. In auth methods, click enable new method. In infra, click Kubernetes so that our Kubernetes OpenShift environment can connect to this vault. Next. Path is Kubernetes. Click enable method, success. And then Kubernetes host will be this. Paste that in. All right, and then save. Now we need to set up the secret reader auth role in the new Kubernetes application. Click create role. The name is secret reader. Bound service account names, vault, bound secret, bound service account names, vault secret reader, add. No, <laughs> never mind. Uh, okay, and then bound service account namespaces, external secrets operator, which we installed earlier, bound service account namespaces, and then click tokens and generated token policies is vault secret reader. This is how we reference that policy and then save. Now let's create an actual secret. So we go to secrets now. We go into Fiware and add a new secret, which will be called MongoDB secret. So this is the path. Now we put in some values. Add a password for the key MongoDB password. We put in MongoDB password and then We can make this whatever we want. Um, so I'm gonna put in something very secure and random. <laughs> All right, that's our password. Do a Mongo replica set key in a new field. And one more. MongoDB root password. So basically you have to keep track of the main secrets, the root access token and the keys to your vault, but you no longer have to keep track of every little secret in your vault and neither does your GitOps code, which is really nice. So all I have to do is save that 
and then we're good to go. We've set up vault secrets that can be used by our application in the future. Uh, so that's it for now. Stay tuned. In future videos, we'll integrate the Fire Context Broker with this actual vault and, and get it all up and running together. So thanks for watching.